Hello everyone, hope you're having a blessed day wherever you are on this big beautiful earth, whether you're in North America, South America, the Caribbean or Africa or Asia or Australia or Europe or wherever you are, whether you're on the moon, another dimension, wherever you are, hope you're having a blessed day. Have you ever had a conversation with someone or have you ever come across someone in your life where you've had this perception of someone in your mind? whether it be good or negative, but I'm going to focus on the negative because it seems to be more common. When you have this negative perception of someone in your head, whether it's been through a movie or a TV show, you've heard rumors or text messages and videos, and you just have this bad perception of someone. And then when you finally meet them, if you actually do meet them, and you talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's on the phone or you meet up in real life and you actually finally get to speak to the person one-on-one, -on -one, you discover that that perception that you had of them in your own mind is completely false. And it turns out that they're actually a really cool guy or gal. I have had that so many times in my life, I cannot list them all. If I was to list them all, I would be here all night. I really would. And it keeps happening in my life. And I know that it happens in your life too. I know that you could probably use me as an example of that. When I used to be a Trinitarian, when I used to believe that Jesus was God and God was Jesus and they were the same person or whatever. I'm sure that many people would have watched those videos and they would have got a bad, imp uh, a bad perception of me based on those videos, but they don't know the real me. And that's the point that I'm getting at. Our perceptions of someone is not the real person. And I'll use me as an example. How many of you have actually spoken to me one-on-one? -on -one? There's probably quite a lot of you. But to those that haven't, what perceptions of me do you have in your mind that are negative, that might not be true? Or I could take it the opposite way. I could say, what perceptions of someone, me or someone else, that you have that's good, that might not be true? Because it is also possible to put someone on a pedestal, and then when you actually meet them, they turn out to be an asshole. Or just a rude person, right? That's what that saying goes, it's... What's, what, what's that saying? Don't ever meet your heat heroes because they'll always disappoint you. It's like that. Our perceptions of people are always false. And we get those perceptions from other people, from text messages, from rumors. And then we build up this, uh, this idea of someone that we have in our heads, that perception, that false perception. And then we judge the real person based off the perception that we created in our mind based off of third hand information from people instead of actually going to the source, the real person, and discovering that person, who they really are. Maybe that's what we should do. We should hold back our judgments about people that we haven't met, that we haven't spoken to one-on-one, -on -one, or we haven't spoken to. And it doesn't need to be on, in person, it could be over the internet. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Maybe a lot of, uh, of fighting would cease if we all just spoke to one another as brothers and sisters spoke to one another like we're supposed to, like we're supposed to, like we're supposed to speak to one another one-on-one -on -one, and a lot of the fightings will just go away. What perceptions of other people do you have who you have not spoken to, whether they're good or bad, that aren't entirely true? I wonder. We should be going to the source instead of all these little sub-sources. It's like going and reading a newspaper or an article about me instead of speaking to the real me, if you have a question, and then you'll go to the news reporter, and then you'll rely on his interpretation of me, his perception of me, his painting, that he's painting of me, this image, this false image of me, and you will believe that over me, instead of just coming to me and asking me and fellowshipping with me. And we're all guilty of this. We've all done it. We've all engaged in the rumors. We've all done it. And then, oh, this person or that person, and blah, 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 blah. Talking to each other instead of just talking to the individual, talking to that person who we are talking to other people about, building up perceptions, false perceptions that we have in our mind about someone else that isn't true. And we don't know that it's true or false, and we believe it to be true because we haven't spoken to that person who we're talking to other people about, instead of just speaking to that person. Why do we do that? Why? Is it because we're afraid? Is it because we're paranoid? Is it because we're angry? Is it because... Uh, there's that mob mentality, that sheepish mentality, that us and them mentality, that uh, my tribe versus your tribe, the red tribe versus the blue tribe, and we're enemies or something, you know, I hate that. I really 
do not like that. Whenever we have a perception of someone that might be negative, and I'll focus on the negative, because it's usually negative, we should always question it and think, is this true? Because usually some of it is true, because it is based on truth. Otherwise, people wouldn't believe it, right? But it's not entirely true. That's how lies are so deceptive in this world, because they're always based, they've always got that little sprinkle of truth in it. So yes, there probably is some legitimacy to uh, someone's perception of someone, right? But it's not the entire truth, it's only 1%. We don't know this person until we actually speak to them. If someone, were to, if someone was to spread a rumor saying, oh, that Liam guy, he likes to uh, run around naked in the middle of the street. <laughs> And then he was to photoshop my face onto a naked man running in the street or something. How many people would actually believe it? There would probably be someone that would believe it out there in the body of Christ. Someone that doesn't know me, that's never spoken to me. And then they would see that and they would see that false perception of me. And they would believe it to be fact. Instead of just coming to me and be like, hey, did you walk around naked in the street? And I'd be like, what? No, I didn't. Instead of going to the source, we always go to someone else. And I know that it's normal, it's human nature, we all do it. I'm not condemning you or me or anyone else for doing it. It's normal, right? But we also have to keep it in mind that our perception of someone isn't always true. Most of the time it's not. Sometimes it can be based on truth, like a little bit, but most of it ain't. If you ever wonder who I am as a person, maybe you should speak to me. If I'm wondering who you are as a person, maybe I should just speak to you one-on-one. -on -one. That's what real fellowship is about. That's what brotherhood is about. Deeming one another superior to oneself. I'm putting my, uh, your, your needs above my needs. We're being mutually solicitous for one another. Loving one another. That's that good disposition. That meekness, humbleness, self-control, patience, goodness, faithfulness. Love. That's all about that love in the end of the day. And spreading rumors, whether they're positive or negative, you know, we should try and minimize that and those perceptions that we have of individuals, whether they're good or bad, try to stay away from that and talk to the person one on one and then you'll get to know them who they really are. So many things can come from a misunderstanding. So many friendships have been broken because of a misunderstanding because the, both parties are one or more just could not understand the other person's intentions. And that's another whole other topic as well. But our perceptions of people are 99% false, unless we speak to them one-on-one. -on -one. And all the people that actually know me and speak to me, they can truly say that they love me because they know me. They know my gifts and my flaws and my weaknesses and my strengths. And when you truly love one, you, you, when you truly love one another, you accept them for who God has made them in this moment. You don't criticize what God is doing. They might annoy you, of course. You, you can be annoyed by someone. You can disagree with someone. That's totally cool. That's normal. You're supposed to do that in a relationship. I think God is telling us to come together uh, to reconcile with one another after all the drama that's been happening. Over. And I'm sure it's been happening for a long time. But those who are at war with one another can't be at war with one another because we're one body in him. We're Christ's body. And a body that's at war with itself will kill itself. How can I reject you? You're a part of myself. Let's not have a bad perception of one another because we are one another in him. You know, there is only one truth. So let's discover it with one another. Let's not be bitter and hateful, and spiteful, and jealous, and envious. Let's just come together, lay down our pride, and embrace one another as brothers and sisters. Amen to that.